A demonstration of the Newton's Cradle. A Newton's Cradle is usually constructed using an odd number of identical mass steel balls. They are each suspended by two strings hanging from a steady frame. The balls are carefully aligned along a horizontal line, just not touching each other. What happens when one of the balls is lifted to the side and then released? As the ball is released, it travels down and hits the rest of the balls at rest. The momentum in is mass times velocity. Notice the momentum out is also mass times velocity. The kinetic energy in is half times mass times velocity square. Notice the kinetic energy out is also half times mass times velocity square. The clue lies in the idea of conservation of momentum and kinetic energy. The balls will swing back and forth in this manner until the energy of the system is lost to air resistance, friction and vibration. What happens when two balls are lifted to the side and then released? The momentum in is 2 mass times velocity. The kinetic energy in is half times 2 mass times velocity square. Notice the momentum out is also 2 mass times velocity. Notice the kinetic energy out is also half times 2 mass times velocity square. The clue lies in the idea of conservation of momentum and kinetic energy. Now let's watch when different numbers of balls are released and how energy is conserved. As three balls hit the set, only three at the opposite end will move up. As four balls hit the set, only four at the opposite end will move up. What about five balls? And six? Did you conclude that the number of balls that move off is always the same as the number of balls that hit the set? The idea of conservation of momentum and kinetic energy is key to many perfectly elastic collisions.